Yo, what's going on, guys? So, um, I guess it's been a little bit since I made a video. Um, I don't know, I just, <laughs> I guess, um, doing some type of, like, repetition for, I don't know how YouTubers do it, like, every day, like, posting every day. Unless they're, like, changing up, switching it up, that kind of thing. But, um, yeah, I got bored, <laughs> so that's why I kind of stopped uploading. But I guess what I've been doing, um, I've been uh, just uh, creating fabric, sleeping, uh, sometimes playing games like League, uh, ARAMs, uh, when League isn't crashing on my computer and I'm not having like huge spikes of ping, like ranging from 1,000 to like 1,300 ping, makes the game like super unplayable. You just can't <laughs> do anything. You just keep on restarting, and it's really annoying. Let's just say that. It's kind of aggravating. It makes you want to not even play League. But, um, yeah, there's that. The only thing that's been really changing up, I guess, is my uh, variety in YouTube channels I've been watching. Um, I've been watching, like, there's these uh, two channels called, like, Predator Poachers and Anxiety Wars. They uh, catch, like, predators um, going after, like, younger children. They show, like, all the chat logs and stuff. It gets a little bit gruesome, but um, it's uh, pretty interesting stuff that they do to investigate in order to catch a culprit and hopefully meet up with them and kind of, I guess, interrogate them. But, um, yeah, there's that been watching uh, people who play League, like Twitch streamers and stuff, um, like people who play League, uh, people who play like Call of Duty. Uh, one that I watched recently was a guy named Excalizors. He, um, I don't think he even posts on YouTube anymore, so they were like three or four year old videos, but they are like, um, just, he used to be like a... Call of Duty YouTuber and did like small challenges where he uses like a certain type of gun with a certain type of setup and tries to um, just do the best that he can like try and put the team on his back to carry him to victory but yeah uh, let me see oh um, but yeah it's pretty much all I've been really up to and creating I guess a pair of pants hopefully I'll uh, have that to show one day, but um, hold on, I'll be right back. Let me go get a Blaze creation. All right, so this right here is an a Stussy Stussy um, focus needles inspired piece you have like a palette of like brown like this i don't know what you call this like a gravel no this is more of like a gravel kind of color i'm not sure but this is like a brown and this is like a lighter shade of brown then we have the stussy piece in the middle with the maroon and then we have like the eight ball with some flowers then we have a darker maroon, I think from a Carhartt tee, and then a um, dark gray, like slate gray kind of color. Then on the back, we've got the same thing. Uh, this piece took probably about four hours to make in total. Um, just cutting it up, making the design, thinking of the color palette to use for this piece. Took quite a bit of time, but um, it got done. And this is the finished product. I wear it with pride. But yeah, anyways, um, that concludes my video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and you want to keep up to date with uh, what I'm creating, what I'm doing, then uh, 
feel free to subscribe and follow my Instagram, which is Sato1409. Peace out, guys.